hey guys you're welcome back to our villa couture youtube channel if you're new here please do me the honor of clicking on the subscribe button and also click on the bell like notification button beside it to get notified each time i drop a new video today's tutorial is going to be on how to draft cut and sew a two-tier gypsy dress I have a video tutorial on how to draft your basic blouse so i'll be putting the link in the description box below you can check that out so that there is my back neckline i came down by one inch for the depth and two inches for the front neckline that is my chest line my bust line and my half length measurement so for this pattern i use quarter of the hip circumference for this pattern I place a measurement there on my round bust and on my round chest. So I use quarter of my hip circumference for this pattern. Right now I'm cutting out those excesses I don't need. So I cut the front. Now I want to explain on how to get the measurement for this gypsy dress. So the total length of this dress is 46 inches. Now I've already drafted 17 inches, which is my half length. Now for the first tier, I'm going to be using 16 inches for the first tier. The length of the first tier is going to be 16 inches. So I'll be adding one inch to that. So I'm just counting the 16 inches right there sorry guys my camera did not capture it but please bear with me so for the first tier the length of the first tier is 16 inches so that's my 16 inches over there that's 33 so i'm count the second tier is 13 inches so that is 13 i added one inch for joining making it 14 inches so right now i've already gone out to cut out my fabric for the first tier so the length of this one now is 16 i added one inch half inch is going to be for joining the first tier to the half length then the other half inch for folding it or for joining it to the second tier as well. So the width of this first tier is 90. So I use my round hip, which is 45, multiplied by 2, which is 90 inches to cut out the width. I added 2 inches to it, making it 92 inches. So the length of this first tier is 16 plus 1 inch. So I'll be keeping this aside now. So for the second tier, I did the same thing. The second tier is the total hip, which is 45 multiplied by 3. That will give us 135 inches. So for the length of this second tier, I'm using... 13 inches plus one inch for joining this second tier to the first tier and also to hem it so here now I, let me explain again i use the full hip measurement which is 45 multiplied by three so right here now i have 135 for the width is so long that i had to join my fabric so the length of the second tier is 13 inches plus one inch for joining this first tier and for hemming the down parts i hope this is clear now so right now i've cut out my back panel on my fabric leaving my allowances one inch on the side and one inch for joining the upper parts to the down parts i'm cutting off my back arm o now and my back neckline so i've also cut out 
my front panel as you can see here so this is the front panel I just measured down three inches so I'll be slashing that part open so this is only for the front because there's going to be a little slit at the front so here is the front now i'll be cutting out a little piece i will place the right side facing the right side of the front panel so i place that little piece underneath the front panel as you can see me doing now once i'm done positioning the piece underneath the front panel i'll take it to the same machine now and close it up on quarter of an inch just beside that slash opening i made so now i'm done with sewing i'm cutting open the underneath piece so i will turn it in to the wrong side of the front panel then i'll be sewing it now on one over eight on both sides i'm done with sewing that now so that is what the wrong side looks like the next thing now is to join the front and the back piece together right sides facing right sides i'll close it up on half of an inch i've already sewn that now next thing now is to measure the round arm o to cut my sleeves so that's the length 20 inches i place the sleeve length there as well connect the marks together now then from the top i came down by four inches for my sleeve caps height i rule it out as well once I'm done with that, I will just place half of the arm O on that line. Then I connect it also to make it longer. So from the half of the arm O line, I slant it to the edge of the brown paper. So I'll measure that slanted line now and mark the midpoint and the first quarter and the second quarter. On the first quarter, I came up by quarter inch, and the second quarter, I came down by quarter inch. So with my ruler now, I'm connecting the marks in a curvy way. So once I'm done with that, now I'll go over to the round sleeve. I'll be using an elastic for the band. So I added three inches for my round sleeve. Now I'm connecting your round sleeve measurement to the half of the arm o measurement so once i'm done now i'm cutting out my sleeve pattern now so on that center point i just came in by one inch this is totally optional but i like doing it just so that i have a good fitting on the sleeve i'm covering up the end there just to remove that sharpness over there so once i'm done with that now i place it on my fabric now and i give half of an inch up there for joining so i'm cutting off half inch away from the sleeve that part is going to be the front arm o so here is the front arm o the front arm o is deeper than the back arm o so i'm pinning them together that's my front and the back arm o that's the right side facing right side front panel of the dress facing the front panel of the so i'm joining it now on half inch i'm done with attaching my sleeve so for the band elastic casing i will fold my 
sleeve now quarter inch in and half inch in so i'll be sewing that now on one over it i'm done with sewing it now so to get the measurement of my elastic i'll just pass the elastic around the wrist that's the end of the sleeve and cut out the measurement so i cut exactly what i measured i'm cutting out two pieces for the both sleeves i use my safety pin now and i'll just pass the elastic into that channel So once I'm done with that now, I'll just sew it up there to secure the elastic on both ends of the sleeves. Close them up now, then I'll sew it on one inch from the sleeve down to the half length bodies. So I'm done with attaching my elastic on both sleeves. The next thing I'm doing now is to measure up my neckline from the right side to the back panel. So I measure from that slash this front panel opening to the other end of the front panel opening. Whatever I give to you, multiply it by two. So I've already cut it out now. I want the collar to be one inch. So I added half inch to the measurement. So on that end now, I will just close it up, fold it right side facing right side and close it up on half of an inch. So to attach it now, I will just fold that band. I've already sewn it. So that's the midpoint of the band. I will notch it and also notch the midpoint of the back panel I'll place them now together right side facing right sides of the top and the band so I'll be closing I'll be sewing them now on half of an inch all around the neckline I hope you're enjoying this video so please smash the like button drop your comment in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe so once the next thing now i've pinned it down now is to fold it in by half inch and half inch again to cover that rough end so after pinning it you will take it to your machine now and sew it on quarter inch round the neckline so i've already pinned that out so on to the excess on the band you just close it up half inch on both sides you close it up then you sew it on one over it You, dis, you do same thing also on the other end of the band. So you close it up. Right now, this is the first tier. I'll just bring them and close up the side on one inch. After closing up the side, then I'll take it to the machine and make a gathered stitch on the upper side. I'll gather it there now. So I'm done with making my gather stitch now. So I'll just put the upper part. So that's my gather stitch. I'll put the upper part inside the first tier. And I'll be joining it on half of an inch. Right sides together. So you pin it first before you sew it up. Now for the elastic, I use my waist measurement to cut out my elastic then I will sew the elastic all around the half length over there so I'm done with attaching my elastic on the half length so here is the, here is what the wrong side looks like 
once I'm done attaching it. So that's the second tier. I will also do the same thing. I will gather it on the down part. Now for the thumbnail on this video, the second tier was splitted on top of the first tier. It's optional. You can do it that way. So if you want to pleat it on top of the first tier, you just pleat it and you sew it on top of the first tier like so so it is totally optional depends on your preference but for this video i'm not doing that way i'll just make a gather stitch then i'll be sewing them up together on half inch so now i've run my gather stitch and i'm just pulling my thread to gather it I've done with gathering my second tier. Now I'll be putting the upper part into it. Then I'll attach it right sides together. Then sew it on half of an inch all round. Here now we have it guys. Here is the finished outlook of the gypsy two tier dress. So thank you so much guys. So for the full length, what you do, you can weave it or you hem it. So here we have it, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until I see you again next week. For now, bye.